become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to share with you Vince Gironda's beginner's course, which he would have novice bodybuilders follow for the first six months training at Vince's gym. Although the Iron Guru was a competitive bodybuilder from the Silver Era and often advocated many Silver Era principles at his gym, interestingly enough, he did not advocate the three times a week full body routine for beginners as was preached by many Silver Era bodybuilders. His advice was totally different actually and I'm sure that um, his advice for beginners will surprise many today um, in this particular video uh, where I will present his general six month course for beginners. Now here we have a photo of Vince instructing and supervising uh, one of his pupils, I believe he's an actor. And I've been actually speaking recently to a staff member from Vince's gym, and he has confirmed to me that like in this picture, Vince would personally teach each exercise to his pupils to set them on the right path. Such was his uh, dedication to teaching in bodybuilding. I hope you enjoy this video. Now the following advice that Vince gave to his beginner students comes directly from his original book, The Wild Physique, available on my website www.goldenerabookworm.com as an ebook. Now the first piece of advice that uh, Vince would give his students was that they did not need any rest days and they should train six days a week. And this might be shocking for some, um, but his logic, I guess, makes a lot of sense. Understanding that a complete novice that walks off the street back in the 60s and 70s when bodybuilding wasn't popular um, and nobody had a clue what a bicep was, um, these guys would walk off the street and know nothing about uh, exercising. And so Vince would have these people train, these absolute novices, train one set per exercise per body part only under his tutelage and using very light weights. So this makes sense. The student would come during that first week, every single day, and train one set per exercise only under Vince's supervision. By the second week, the student would be training um, still six days per week, performing now two sets per exercise, and again, on the third week, now they would add another set, and now be performing three sets per exercise, again training every single day, still with light weights. By the end of the first month, Vince would then recommend three sets per exercise training each body part three times a week and would have students still training six times per week but on an upper and lower body split and the exercises would change periodically basically almost every month and they would continue to train that is the students would continue to train in this fashion for the next six months. Like many silver era and golden era bodybuilders Vince Gironda preached the principle of progressive overload Again, as I mentioned earlier, he would have, have his uh, novice bodybuilders start with very light weights. And when they felt comfortable with the program, probably a month in, he would start getting them to add more weight to the bar as they got stronger. Um, his actual recommendation, once the beginner was comfortable with the program, they should be adding weight every three workouts. Uh, otherwise, it would be too quick and this could result in injury. He would also have them wear comfortable loose clothes and a weight training belt as shown here by this uh, one particular actor whose name is Barry Hostetter from what I understand. Now on to the routine. Vince Gironda recommended a total of 12 exercises for his beginners and again following the particular routine that I've already mentioned before. The first exercise that was on this particular routine was the decline pulley hug for the pectorals performed for 12 repetitions where we, he would have a student lie on a decline bench and grab two low pulley handles which would be attached low onto the floor and from the starting positions with arms out on the side as you can see in the image he would have the um, person bring them bring the arms forward with knuckles to touch a few inches above the groin as you can see in the image um, and this would obviously work the pectorals. Uh, for 12 repetitions, the decline pulley hug would be performed. The next exercise would be the short pulley row. 
and you can see that the particular motion that Vince Gironda advocated was to actually allow um, the the bar to pull you forward, even your head forward, and he actually advocated having um, the bodybuilder hang his head in between his arms. This is something that he generally advocated, and as you pulled the bar into the um, chest, he would have you have the elbows close to your sides and bring your chest up. This would work the full latissimus muscle, that was the short pulley row. And of course, the lateral exercise was also advocated by Vince for his novice bodybuilders as the third exercise. All of these exercises would be performed for 12 repetitions. For the next three exercises in the beginner's routine, Vince would actually have the student perform exercises for arms, starting with the triceps pushdown, which, which he'd like to refer to as the power push. Note that the, um, the cartoon image here of Vince is actually holding the lat pull-down machine bar uh, with approximately 30 centimeters of spacing. The elbows are held wide and out to the sides, not close to the body. And more importantly, below the, the bar is actually below the pec line. He wouldn't have the student have the bar any higher. Um, this would isolate the uh, triceps very, very well. And he was always advocating not having the elbows in, but instead having the elbows out to the side to work, especially the lateral head of the tricep. The next exercise was the, uh, the barbell body drag curl, of which Vince had two variations depending on the grip. Uh, you could perform it pronated or supinated, but the idea was to literally start with the barbell on your thighs as shown in the cartoon. And as you curl the bar up, the bar should not um, leave the, in the contact with your body. It should always remain in contact. It should not leave and go um, further away from, from your body. Hence, it is called a drag curl because you are literally dragging the bar against you, maintaining contact with your body. Again, you could perform it using a supinated or a pronated grip. And the last exercise was the seated wrist curl, which probably doesn't need much explanation. However, he did not advocate his students to um, roll the bar all the way down to the fingertips because um, in his own um, recommendation, this would actually work the wrist. So he would actually just have them curl the bar, holding it um, in the palm of your hand and not letting it roll down to your fingers. That was a proper uh, wrist curl, at least for developing the musculature in the forearm, in the forearms, according to Vince Gironda. The next three exercises in the beginner's routine, Vince would actually have his novice bodybuilders perform exercises for the lower body musculature, starting off with the leg extension, which he liked to call the power leg extension because of the twist that he had in this particular motion, his own variation. As you can see, Vince has his himself as a cartoon leaning backwards at the start of the motion and has as he actually extends the legs and to work the thighs, he actually leans all the way backward. And so he actually um, said that in doing so, you really power up the weight and you can really stack on the weight. And um, it's not about cheating, but it is about really um, extending both the hips and the knees in this particular motion. Um, and he believed that this particular motion was excellent at bringing out the musculature on the front of the thighs, especially all the way up near the hips. Now the leg curl was followed, um, in, in, in again, in this particular motion, Vince had his own variation. I've actually covered this, the three different leg curls that Vince actually used to preach in his gym, the three different motions, um, which together he called the complete leg curl. You can see this video on my website. But anyway, he would have the student perform this particular variation, where again, at the start of the, the, video, uh, at the, start of the movement, there would be a variation. The variation was to start off in a push-up position, as you can see. And as you curl the weight, um, you would actually come down onto the bench. And then as you extend the legs again, you would come up onto this push-up position. Finally, the calf heel raise was performed um, for calves. And one of the only things that were, I guess, maybe different to other people was that Vince would recommend that you keep your uh, knees slightly bent throughout the motion. And uh, that was basically the only tip that Vince would give here. 
Now the last three exercises in the beginner's routine all involve the abdominal musculature and we start off with the bent knee leg raise which according to Vince work the lower abdominals. You are supposed to lie flat on the floor placing your palms flat down next to your hips and raise your bent knees towards your chest and lift your head forward at the same time. The hips should actually also raise off the floor slightly during the movement. For the next motion, the crunch was performed by placing your heels at the end of a bench or table, um, actually hooking them at the end of a bench or a table, sorry, and placing your hands behind your head, you would roll forward and exhale as you do. However, contrary to the cartoon, you're not supposed to lift the lower back off the floor. Um, the double up, which was the last exercise, was actually, was actually a combination of the crunch and the bent knee leg raise, as you can clearly see in the cartoon. And basically, you lie on your back, hands behind your head, legs extended, uh, toes pointed, and while you exhale, you raise your upper body and you lift your legs with your knees bent. And that concludes the uh, explanation for the beginner's bodybuilding routine as taught by Vince Gironda at Vince's gym. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Vince Gironda's courses that he taught at Vince's gym, there are several courses and books that I have available on my website, www.goldenerabookum.com. Of course, the beginner's course, which I mentioned today, is found in Vince's probably the best book he ever wrote, The Wild Physique, the complete book of championship physique training for men and women. However, another interesting course is Vince's six weeks bulk course, which I've actually done a video on before. And although Vince does say that this particular uh, course will make you gain a lot of muscle very, very quickly, um, you would have to follow this with his definition course, which is also available on my website. Another interesting course that he um, preached was A Muscle Has Four Sides, which I've previously also talked about in a separate video, which uses Silver Era Flushing Method. All of these titles and many more from Vince Gironda are available on my website www.goldenerabookworm.com So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video on the beginner's course that was taught by Vince Gironda at Vince's gym. I'm pretty sure that as you walked into Vince's gym, you'd have all these guys including Don Howarth just standing out looking at you and saying, do you even lift? Well, now you will. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it was like. Imagine walking into Vince's gym and just seeing all these buff guys. Damn! awesome fantastic yeah what a time it was anyway hope you've enjoyed watching the video if you have please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't to the golden era bookworm leave me your comments and thank you for watching if you'd like to support my work please donate via paypal or you become a you can become a patron you can also visit my website www.goldenerabookworm.com for out of print old school bodybuilding courses and books and if you'd like to get in touch Please do so, if, especially if you want to pass on your old books and magazines. I always like hearing from you and adding to my collection. Anyway, that's it for me. Again, hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. Hi everybody, I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still not equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day and again, highly recommend this book.